Highway traffic in Bolivia's farming region of Santa Cruz has come to a standstill. Protesters want the release of Luis Camacho, the governor of Santa Cruz, who was detained last week. Camacho is accused of leading the political unrest in 2019 that led to the removal of then-president Evo Morales. He denies the accusations. The ongoing protests are threatening the delivery of grain and food around the country. I contract a truck and I carry gas from Bolivia to Brazil. But here the situation is difficult because of the blockade. People are angry because the governor is in prison and he's right wing and they want him freed. Then we are paying and suffering for it because we can't move on. Cargo transport is suffering the consequence of this political situation. We don't support any political party, but cargo transport bears the brunt of these situations. And it's cargo transport that sustains the country's trade. Protesters face off against police. They're met with tear gas. In return, they set off fireworks. Rubble lines the streets. The government is calling for order. What these mobilizations seek, with the deterioration of calm and stability, with violence, confrontation, hate and tension, is to preserve the impunity of those who participated in what happened in November 2019. In a handwritten letter, Camacho says President Luis Arce would be responsible if he died from illness or anything else. Bolivia's government says his health is stable. For now, the situation remains tense, with some saying he needs to be brought to justice, while others are equating his freedom with their own. Andrea van Veek, Al Jazeera.